When you're evaluating your design options, either in the real world with physical testing or virtually using computer horsepower, it's often about iteration and honing in on the absolute best convergence of the solution. But it can be daunting coming to the right solution using the various amounts of data types we have to integrate. And this can be further complicated when the design and analysis tools are completely disconnected. Enter the 3D Experience Platform, a collection of best-in-class simulation apps built on the industry-leading technology, including tools like Abacus and FeSafe. And it all connects seamlessly with SolidWorks Desktop. Adam is an analyst who's responsible for some pretty serious things. In this case, he needs to simulate the battery compartment to make sure there's gonna be no failures, as this is mission critical. When life is at risk, safety factors need to go above and beyond what they need to physically be rated for. However, cost is always a consideration. Adam does some pre-work by selecting the parameters for the ribs and the tube thickness in SOLIDWORKS to be optimized. The model is saved to the platform and we launch the model assembly design app from directly inside SOLIDWORKS. The automated measure recognizes thin components of the model, and creates mid-surfaces and shell bodies all in one command. It's necessary to define the structural scenario for the design parameters and goals and boundary conditions for depth testing. A simple glance at the results, and it's clear that this is way over-designed. To optimize things, Adam launches the Parametric Design Study app. Here we select the parameters and goals of interest and the computer will run the rest. You can easily interpret and compare the performance of different configurations. Best design is highlighted for easy selection. Create a new model with the optimum parameters with one simple click. Other things to consider are that the pressure load will happen multiple times. And each time the Nemo is removed from the water, the skid will experience the impact of landing on the deck. We use an explicit particular scenario. A simple yet powerful general contact interaction is used to define how the skid will come in contact with the floor. Adam chooses to run the simulation on the cloud, leveraging the extreme power of farm computing and he doesn't even need to leave his computer on while the simulation runs. The values are within limits, but how many times can the NEMO withstand this impact load and the pressure load? For this, we can use a durability analysis study. Here we define a fatigue loading that captures both events. We include all increments to account for the fluctuations in the response. We also want to include both stress and strain to increase the accuracy of this study. This will also solve for both high and low cycle fatigue. We will also turn inter-event transition off since these events happen, but not at the same time. Lastly, he defines the base surface finish and then solves for the results. And the results are not only available to Adam, but they're available to all other collaborators via the internet browser. This makes collaboration a snap for disconnected design teams. Lastly, we need to identify where ultimate failure occurs if the NEMO dives too deep. Using the same design scenario from the first study, Adam is going to set up a RICS buckling analysis. This goes much further than the typical eigenvalue buckling analysis. And this is well suited for an unstable and nonlinear collapse. It also does not require setting up a more complex dynamic analysis. Here he can plot the values and easily see which parts of the compartment would fail first. The 3D Experience platform makes it easy to explore numerous design options, evaluate durability, and understand critical loading requirements while collaborating with your team worldwide.